Chuffy is the only thing that gives Frank love on a daily basis. Everything I can lose, but the cat, I feel like he'll always be there for me. Chuffy, how do I look? Life for Frank after the Watergate did not go as you think a hero's life should go. I don't belong here. This place don't want me. He still needed money. He was fired from the Watergate, so he needed to find a new job. And Frank was completely lost. Essentially, those are the things that sent him back home. That's how his life changed. I got some room for my cat. This next one's going out to that funky turncoat, John D. Episode six is a very dramatic episode for the Deans. They find out they're having a baby. He has to testify. They're ready for you, Mr. Dean. The pressure of that is too much for him, really. I can't do it. I can't go up there. But Mo kicks him up the ass in spite of her own personal situation. This is not about you anymore. This is about everything that we have worked towards and you're not going to fuck this up now, okay? Mo in this episode is dealing with her miscarriage and dealing with these Greek level feelings and having to push them down because the A story is not these Greek feelings, but it's the suits around her lighting the nation on fire with lies. I do not recall. <laughs> she should be the A story. Mo creates the John Dean we know today, and she does it at her darkest hour. And in the end, it leads to a reckoning between them that actually brings them a lot closer together and adds a lot of depth to their relationship. The way we tell the story of John Dean's testimony is really through Mo's eyes and Mo's experience. We're true to this history of what happened, but we're really interested in the story of what was going on for her and what was happening in her mind. He gets caught up in his star moment, and that's a little bit of a heartbreak for Mo. I push down all these things that I'm going through, which are so painful, and then you left me in the swarm of reporters and sort of forgot I existed. Strangely, them going through that this early in their marriage created the foundation of the very strong marriage that they have to this day. She really needs equal partnership with him and to be on equal footing, and that's the story of this episode for her. I think I'm just realizing I can't play the dutiful wife. And it's really something interesting. You can look at the at Dean's real testimony and hours and hours of footage, and Modine is sitting behind him the whole time. At one point, she takes off her clip-on earrings because clip-on earrings really hurt after five hours, and I can put myself in her shoes so easily. Were you surprised when you heard about the break-in on June 17th? I was more appalled than surprised. He's lying. Martha sees her trip to Pine Bluff as a chance to get back to her roots and to get back to the comforts of home. But what she really finds is very different than what she was expecting. She's in Nixon country. Seems your mama is quite the controversial lady these days. I guess I didn't realize being honest was so controversial. And the people there, her friends, her former friends, are not happy with what she's doing in speaking out. Just like him, bringing down a president. Golly, I didn't realize I was so powerful. And I think they see her as being behind a lot of the problems that Nixon is facing. Marty at first isn't super excited to go to Pine Bluff. She's just like, uh, another thing my mom's dragging me to, like her hometown. Marty's so excited. No, Mort. But she gets there and it's kind of cool. I think when they're in Pine Bluff, I think their relationship builds a little <laughs> bit. Mom. And then when they're leaving, their relationship gets a little worse. Let's be on our way. So you made me come down here. And then once I actually start to have fun, do you want to leave? When Martha comes to Pine Bluff, she's really on the fence about whether or not she's going to testify. And by the end of it, she decides that she will. I think in Martha's mind, if they can shut her up, they can shut everybody up. They could shut Marty up. Would you consider keeping your voice down? Excuse me, Laleen, do you know what you should consider? Bangs. So she leaves Pine Bluff knowing in some ways she can never come back.